towards uh, Whitensville. So heads up in all of those areas as this storm is still very well formed. Uh, if you're just joining us now, we've been tracking a, a large and a dangerous tornado coming across southern parts of uh, uh, southern parts of Massachusetts. It's been a terrible day today. That tornado initially uh, forming in western Mass around Springfield, where we got reports of damage. We saw the damage as well. We've seen some pretty serious damage across parts of Springfield. Uh, then the tornado got more intense as it moves, moved across southern parts of Massachusetts. Now may be on the wane somewhat. Uh, there's a look at some of those pictures that we saw earlier as the storm came into Springfield Mass there. And you see a, a pretty well-defined tornado came right across the Connecticut River and uh, uh, certainly churning up some debris there, causing some pretty serious damage as it moved through that area. We want to go now to Mark Elliott. He is in the Digital Media Center. And uh, Mark, you've been getting some uh, pictures, uh, presumably, of the damage in those areas. Yeah, lots of people from the Springfield area have been sending in their shots, Carl, and I wanted to show you a few of them to show you what people in Massachusetts are dealing with right now. We start off uh, in the Springfield area. This is actually taken on the 34th uh, floor of a building sent in by Jay Garvey. You can see out the window, even with the reflection blocking the way, that there is a definite lowering and tornado on the ground there. Here's an even better shot. This one getting a lot of play on Twitter right now. Casey Manning sending this one in. Just a classic elephant trunk tornado coming down, blocked by the trees so you can't see the ground, but still a scary sight across portions of Massachusetts. How about this one? I wouldn't want to be in this building. Again, sent in by Haynes B TV, and uh, right behind this building is that uh, tornado as it goes through the Springfield area. Now, as for damage, I've seen reports of lots of tree damage. This one coming in from the Falcons A AHL, so uh, Springfield Falcons here, and you can see just huge roots being uh, exposed here as those big trees are knocked over. And finally, this one, uh, just tree damage everywhere. Entire streets blocked because very old, very tall trees have been falling across the Springfield area. So this is something that we will continue to monitor on Twitter, of course. Carl, are, are you seeing uh, that on radar still? Uh, you know, we certainly are seeing a very well-defined storm on radar. There's no doubt about that. Uh, that is now uh, traveling right across the 395 corridor there into a southern mass. There's a look at the two storms. Still a very well-defined circulation on the southernmost cell that is now coming right into 395 in southern parts of Massachusetts, moving east about 35 miles an hour. It's not as well-defined as it was earlier. We saw a terrible sight there with a debris ball coming into uh, areas around Stockbridge there. Uh, and then also notice there's this big storm storm off to the north in Worcester and then another one behind that and now a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for your area showing some signs of rotation as well yeah, and if we could go to uh, graphics 14 and get a little bit of a bigger view of this uh, want to point out that we do have a little bit of a tornado warning uh, in effect for Providence County but that is not so much that there's any particular storm that's heading right toward Providence it's just to allow for a little bit of a chance that this storm that we've been following could make a bit of a right turn so no imminent threat for a uh, downtown Providence uh, the uh, storm uh, we've had uh, continued tornado warning for the storm north of our previous uh, storm that has hit Springfield that is going to go south of the Boston area uh, we'll have some uh, strong thunderstorms perhaps some hail about 45 minutes from now coming into Boston uh, and then uh, but the tornado threat seems to be a lot less on this northern storm we've had some funnel clouds but it is ingesting a lot of rain cooled air from the storm to the south the storm to the south that has hit Springfield uh, has basically no competitors to the south, so it's tapping that warm, moist air. Be interesting to see this renegade storm. Notice how it's moving so much differently. Yeah. The storm that's coming toward Putnam uh, here in Connecticut is coming to the northeast. The storm that is rotating is moving due east, so we may get a collision. Uh, at this point, it looks like it may collide just behind the storm that is pushing uh, across southern Massachusetts and probably un and unfortunately will not cause it to really uh, cause its demise. So dangerous tornado in progress or at least has been in progress and may still be in progress coming across southern parts of Massachusetts. All right, that storm that is still going now uh, came through Springfield, Mass. Earlier, I want to talk to Dennis Flesher. He is with the uh, Springfield Fire Department. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, sir. Uh, what can you tell us about the damage that you've seen there? It's like uh, there's thousands of trees down, hundreds of houses affected. Uh, one building, the whole top floor has gone off it. I actually eyewitnessed the funnel cloud come through right through the center of the city. And, and so, did you, uh, there's did you a know, lot of damage here. Did you know what you were seeing when it was coming through? Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is not something that you get a lot of there in Springfield. No, 
I used to look at things like that in the movies, but uh, it was it was pretty clear what it was. There was a lot of debris in the in the twisting uh, cloud. Uh, we initially have reports of people missing, but those are unconfirmed. There's a lot of damage here, and we're spread thin. We're still investigating uh, what's going on. So, so any injuries, as far as you know, at this point? There's been several injuries. A lot of cars flipped over with people in them. Uh, people were trapping cars, and uh, been take the cars have been cleared. They've been taken to area hospitals. So a lot of the homes, there's a lot of a lot of damage to homes. We're starting to starting to try to get into those and search to see if there's any people in there. Uh, you know, we, we we saw as the the storm crossed the Connecticut River there and went across that bridge. Uh, I can't remember the name of the bridge, but uh, uh, is that where the cars were flipped primarily? Actually, they were on the other side of the city, uh, oh. uh, east of there. But um, there were some cars flipped down there too. They were all over town. Uh, so there, there was may may have been multiple uh, uh, touchdowns of a, of a of a storm. I think there was more than one. And this was coming in really right at the beginning of, of rush hour. I know that you don't have a, a terribly crowded rush hour there, but still there were a lot of people on the roads at the time, yes? Yeah, there's a lot of gridlock because a lot of streets are completely blocked by the down trees, so people are trying to surf up in their roads, and it is a, it is a real uh, traffic snarl. And, and what is the size uh, of the area that's been damaged as nearly as you can tell us? I, I would say it's, it's in a... Uh, about a 17 mile area uh, it's spread out all it's spread out all across the city in, in multiple locations all right uh dennis leaguer with the uh, springfield fire department thank you so much for your time sir we certainly do appreciate it they've taken a a pretty serious hit there in springfield massachusetts uh gotten reports of many cars flipped uh many injuries as a result uh, uh thousands of uh of trees down across the city hundreds of homes have been damaged so it appears greg that it actually has been uh, very bad unfortunately there in springfield we couldn't see all of that when we were seeing the pictures but it has been a very bad hit there in springfield yeah it's been very bad and uh it, we just saw the video of the tornado in progress there just before we came back to us live and you could see the tornado really spinning visibly spinning very rapidly there here at this point the tornado was somewhat transparent it did not have a funnel that came all the way down to the ground but still from the dust from the debris you can see it rotating very rapidly counterclockwise and because the debris those pieces of black are so big they're unable to follow the counterclockwise rotation of the wind they get what we call centrifuged out and so they're actually spit, being spit out of the tornado some of it coming toward the camera there and fall beyond the edge of the tornado so we were seeing on radar a debris ball signature that was about a mile wide what mile wide Wow, look at the debris. Uh, there you see some of those cars flipped. Uh, there you see trees that have been largely denuded. Looks like some pretty serious structural damage there as well. Uh, your early guess, what would you say, maybe F2? Easily? Certainly, uh, if an entire floor of a building is gone, we're certainly going to be in the EF2 range. Uh, the, uh, the roof's off, get us the EF1 or higher. These kind of trees down here probably are in the EF1 range. So I'm thinking uh, it's, it's going to be an EF1 at least and probably uh, quite a bit higher than that. It'll depend on the maximum of the structures. We saw some, there's the tornado in progress there from one vantage point from a little bit farther away. You can see it, a cone-shaped tornado or an elephant trunk-shaped tornado now at the, the base portion of it. There it goes again, uh, just moving now, partly hidden by the tree uh, cluster there. Uh, so a, a well-defined tornado moving across uh, Massachusetts Springfield and continued for, by all indications, quite a few miles uh, as it was again reported uh, as it came across areas well to the east of Springfield. The uh, storm now continues to look like it has become a little bit temporarily at least outflow dominated by a, a big band, an arc of outflow that is pushed down around the uh, where the rotation had been and on Doppler radar it continues to show uh, a weakening or a total disappearance of the low level uh, rotation signature. So the tornado probably uh, has lifted at this point, but still a big wide open space here of inflow. Tornadoes and these rotating supercell thunderstorms are known to cycle. They'll produce one tornado, wrap it themselves in rain, choke off the tornado. But with this wide of an inflow area coming in, quite likely that it could produce yet another tornado. And if it did so, that would generally be heading north of Woonsocket over toward the Brockton area. The tornado, excuse me, the tornado warning that had been in effect uh, north of that 
uh, has expired. Uh, that storm has largely been absorbed or has absorbed the rain cooled air from the storm to the south. Uh, that was the one that was coming to Boston. So lightning, heavy rain, maybe some hail coming toward the Boston area over the course of the next half hour to a half hour.